I can name a million things I'm not. The only thing I am is real. Smoking on that real kill, breaking Zion. Let me ex okay. First off, first off, look, it's gonna look crazy, but it's not what it looks like. Okay, we were just we just ran into each other. It just happened to be by the bathroom. Okay, I happened to see him by the bathroom. I was like, oh sh, it's Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Let me just say what's up to Diddy. Nick, someone sent me the same photo. Tell my son. Oh, so you like getting your butt touched? Hey, hold on, bro. That's not the. That's not the. No, bro. That's not how it is, bro. That's not. Not even close to what it is, bro. He don't even know who I am. I'm not even worth how much these niggas meek and ushers. Let me not say it like that. Let me not say it like that. Cause I didn't even read the whole court case. I didn't read it. Did he don't know me, man? I'm a random, bro. I'm not usher. I'm not meek mill. I'm just a random, bro. I don't know him. And I didn't even know all this was happening. After I took the photo, literally like the next week, Casey came out with the whole allegation thing. And it was weird. I'm just clearing it up. I have nothing to do with him. I have nothing to do with him. So for years, there has been rumors floating around that P. Diddy has quite a few skeletons in his closet. And that in the Hollywood background, he has been doing wrong by many people for many years. Allegedly- Nah, bro, hold on. I've never seen this been doing wrong by many people for many years no bro no bro i know birdman today will not go for that shit, bro no way bro uh-uh i'm not letting another man kiss my bald head bro it's did he just damn this Weird, bro. Allegedly, that is. This goes all the way back to his days coming up with Biggie Smalls, and later on, much more heinous rumors would come out involving him and his talent that he scouted over the years, including names like Usher and Justin Bieber, to name a few. Everything's good. Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything. Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. Bro, try to get in contact with me. They got this boy Diddy got 15 year old Justin Bieber stuttering, bro. Over because oh, bro, press him. But I'm thinking, I don't, I don't think Diddy would even, you know, you know, you know what I mean. I don't even think Diddy would even do that to himself, man. 15, chill, bro. That's that's wild, bro. I don't think he would do that, man. But if he did, you, he's a sick one. He's a sick one and a dangerous one at that. Me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. You, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. Number? So for years, fans of these artists have wanted P. Diddy locked up. <laughs> Released bro, I've the... never seen any of this about Diddy, bro. What is going on, bro? In what occasion would you be putting on a wig like this, Diddy? The only thing that's I'll probably let slide is Halloween, bro. The trial, possibly R. Kelly style. But with none of these claims ever being substantiated, everyone always thought he was essentially untouchable. I should put that as a new noise. I should make that a new noise. 360, 360, 360. I, sh I should put that as a new, as like a little soundboard now, bro. A little soundbite. Was a legal problem for him in the past going on the given What's settlements up? before their cases could ever see the light of day but now a new lawsuit has been filed against p diddy by an artist named little rod real name rodney look at little rod though bro like look at that face bro i might have to make that <laughs> bro why are you looking at me like that bro the court filing has taken i don't know why it was that so story. funny bro and so why, at bro. some point guys i do want to go through all these put, documents we... over, hey hey We've been on 360 Jeezy, though. I think 360 Jeezy might be a staple in, like, black culture, bro. Or, like, in any young kid's culture whenever they trying to get ways, bro. Because, yo, like, just the intro alone, bro, is just, like, so recognizable, bro. Amongst the community, bro. I don't know. If a white person can name out 360 Jeezy, too, bro, I would be astonished, bro. He's black. He's coming to the barbecue on my side. I'm being honest. We have over 70 pages here. But it does look like this guy, Little Rod, aka Rodney Jones, is suing not only P. Diddy, but a whole bunch of people in the music industry. I mean, look at all these record labels and... Hold on. He's, he's, he's suing Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Ethiopia. Bro, what e how do you even pronounce that, dog? I'm not even going to try. Lucian Charles Grange, Christina Cahorn. Chalice Recording Studios, Love Studios, my, oh, so that's, these are all just recording groups after that. Now, what is this? This is Diddy. This is the whole P. Diddy situation, man. Different entities. Him being, so, yes, a, him being a, a, a quote unquote demon in the industry. Go over all of this probably on my second channel because there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff here. Damn, what the? Allegations. Bro. On my second channel. 
Because there's damn, dude, y'all have to be in quarantine, bro. There ain't no way, bro. Damn, this old as fuck. How old is Diddy, bro? How old is Diddy? Cause damn, that just that that showed that that showed a lot right there. I ain't gonna lie. Fifty four. He can pass. He can pass. I was gonna say sixty, but that's like in the same ballpark. You know what I mean? It's a whole bunch of crazy stuff here. A whole bunch of allegations levied against P Diddy. And so in this specific instance, there is three people actually listed by name. One of them is Stevie J, who is one of P. Diddy's alleged accomplices. Of course, you have Mr. Combs, which is Sean Combs P. Diddy. I'm gonna be and honest you with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, be real. I don't know who the f*** Stevie J is, bro. Who the f*** is Stevie J? Little Rod listed as Mr. Jones. So Mr. Combs used access to I'm, Stevie I'm J and his knowledge of Mr. Stevie Jones' J's admiration of Stevie J. I don't know to who that is. And enticed Mr. Jones to engage in homosexuality. Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J being a Caucasian male. This was done to ease Mr. Let me read the first line, okay? I'm going to try to chop it up just so Twitch does not take me down and YouTube does not take me down. Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J Yeah, penetrating a Caucasian male without a condom. Oh my gosh! Now I did see a tweet that it's it's a it's it's a, a it's allegedly allegedly it wasn't Stevie J. The uh, a lot of people on Twitter are going around saying that, or a guy came out on Twitter and said that oh it was some homosexual guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, get you know, bro. Yeah. Uh, ah, this is making me sick, bro. Mr. Jones' anxiety concerning homosexuality. According to Mr. Combs, this is a normal practice in the music industry. Look, even Stephen J is doing it. And this is the bit that went viral. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones, so P. Diddy informed Little Rod. Bruh, that he engaged in What's that, brother? With a rapper, name redacted, R&B singer, name redacted. And Stevie J. And so people started to question, well, what were those redacted bro, names? Bro, 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 this is what kills me. This is, I seen, this is the part, I part, I seen this part from academics, bro. This is the part that kills me the most. As you guys can see, they're listed uh, hopefully he shows five you, and bro. six. So if you go and look at the footnotes, number five. Look, 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 five and six, right? He is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. And six is he performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Now, number five is so obvious who that is, bro. Name another Philadelphia rapper that dated Nicki Minaj other than Meek Mill. I'm going to just cut it short for y'all, chat. He can't. No one can. No one can. It's only Meek Mill, right? So five off the board is Meek. Six, he performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Who just performed at the Super Bowl? It was Mr. Still Your Ho himself, Usher. So Usher and Freaky Miki out here getting their booty touched by Puff Daddy. This is crazy. This is crazy information, bro. If he is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, like, hmm, what other Philadelphia rappers has Nicki dated besides me? Like, who else? And number six, he performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. And obviously that describes Usher. Now, I will say all of this information should be taken with a grain of salt. I mean, I'm not saying that P. Diddy is not a bad guy, but in these official court documents, they include- Listen, f*** what he's saying, all right? Forcing another- Forcing another person to have intercourse with you? I'm not with that, dog. Male on male, male and female, however y'all go about it. Y'all forcing that, dog? Mm-mm, brother, brother, ugh, you can't do that. Don't come around me with that, bro. If I found out, if I find, if I ever find out someone in my circle is doing some shit like this, ah, you know what I'm saying? Back away, nigga. Use the force on them, bro. Like back up. Who did pictures of what Stevie J was allegedly doing to this Caucasian man? And these photos have already been proven to not be what the court document says that they are. As a gay corn star has now stepped forward yes, yes, and said, this. no, said that this is not Stevie J, that is actually me and a video I shot when I was doing some corn. So to me, that kind of calls this whole document into question.
But either way, the internet started ripping into me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 hold on, bro. Wait, hold on. This D good as a 5.05 a.m. I can't even play Dreams and Nightmares the same anymore, man. This is insane. There's what in what context? Okay. There's there what in what context does this go into other than intercourse? This D good as hell. Five, at 5.05 a.m.? What are you doing at 5.05 a.m., brother? Brother, ugh! What are you doing? Bold tweet I've never seen this. Where he says, ugh. this D good as hell. This picture was also circulated. That proves it. That proves it. The video's done. Nothing else can prove the allegations other than this. Name one time you ever like you ever wore the same outfit as your friend. Name one time. Name one time. The only time I will allow it is the denim tear. That's the only time. Bro, this is oh my god. Oh my gosh. Freaky Miki and Puff Daddy. Matching outfits. Matching silk shirts. Man. See, I knew something was up though, bro. I knew something was up with Diddy, bro. See, when the whole Casey thing, like, when the whole, you know, when that came out, I didn't, you know, I was kind of like, uh, eh, you never know, though. But I'm not going to choose sides there. When I heard this nigga Diddy, he hung Wale over a balcony just because he was trying to make a song with Casey, that's when I, that's when I knew for sure, like, okay, he's insane. And, and friends, and friends actually, like, proving this story to be true. So, yeah, he's insane online saying that their matching outfits were couple goals someone shared this video where they say now we know why diddy got so excited when he heard me camille talking about <laughs> <laughs> someone shared this uh yo why did he turn like that him dancing with why did he why did diddy turn like that did he tell us something Little man. He's crazy, bro. Okay, where he appears to grab him inappropriately for no reason. Why are you doing bunny hops, Meek? Because you got your ass beat in tennis. You got your ass beat. Keep going. Count out loud. Count out loud. Why bunny? Bro, what happened to the old meat, bro? What happened to the to the dirty naps, dirty corn rolls, popping willies on four wheelers down Philly meat, bro? What happened, bro? What happened? I think it's that Nicki Minaj, that whole relationship, that fucked him up. After he lost Nicki Minaj, he just crashed out. This is insane. He's doing bunny hops right now. No man can make me ever do bunny hops. I don't care if we lose a bet. I'm not doing, no, no. We gotta pick something else. No, there's no way I'm doing bunny hops, dog. Bunny hops. Now, me, Camille has always been known as kind of a peculiar character. I mean, we saw the way he was eating fries by the pool. He might just have a touch of the tism, though. Hilarious backflip. So people know he's kind of goofy. But of course, with these new rumors on the table, now any sort of clip like this just looks suspect to people. Nah, dude, you got Selly for three oh, months. That nigga they call it Selly Love. Pack it up, go to New Jail. You gonna feel like you just lost a chick. How many times you it? felt like that? <laughs> no, <laughs> you ain't never lose your celly and feel like you lost some. No, 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 no. I lost some cellies that was some good. You know, they went home, motherfuckers. And hey, you'd be like, damn, how many times you cried? I ain't never cried. <laughs> <laughs> now this video of me. Yo, Wallow got dead ass serious, bro. He, Camille he got dead ass serious, bro. Pool while Straight face and all, him. bro. Has to be I a hell of a one to defend. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. You doing it, daddy is insane now obviously meek was not happy about the prospect of going viral for this sort of story and so he decided to take his anger out on dj academics of all people because academics was talking about this on his stream <laughs> so he went on a twitter escapade where he Yo, says hilarious, academics bro, I didn't i tell bro. you to stop playing with my name i don't know what i'm gonna do when i actually see you it's gonna have a combination to it though okay so my okay okay threats. listen okay 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 so what well, my Latino brother is telling me. He went to Twitter after Ak outed it, pretty much, right? He outed the whole thing. He went to Twitter and said, Academics, didn't I tell you to stop playing with my name? I don't know what I'm going to do when I actually see you. It's going to have a combination to it, though. 
Brother, how you gonna how you gonna fight the nigga that's just spreading facts? This is in legal paper documents. You gonna fight a nigga for speaking the truth? <sighs> I don't know, Meek. It's gonna have a it's looking tough for you, to brother. It, it's looking tough. Okay, so mild Twitter threats. This also just happened to be the same time that he was ready to release a whole album. Where he's saying they gotta try damage control. Uh, they know I, I know this long. trick. They I know this trick, Meek. You can't you can't fool me. Meek trying to me trying to distract by dropping an album and people. He trying to get off topic with it real quick. Uh uh brother. Uh uh brother, you can your booty touch. We know it now. We know it's in paper now. We know it, brother. Uh uh. But their artists won't be able to breathe with me out here for a week. Weak ass ninjas. And there's a little promo. Kinda weird, bro. Seems kinda demonic to me. I'm back on that dream chasing shit, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't like all this weird shit. Here Meek responds directly to that academics clip that went viral. The way you ninjas come in on the sick. He can't read it. The way you ninjas come in on the sick now. On the sick now? What are you even typing, bro? I can't wait to meet academics, lol. They know I dropped tomorrow. Bro, type right. What's what's up with what's up with gangster niggas wanting to type so weird, bro? Type regular, bro. Stop all this. Tomorrow, like, bro. Tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow, bro. You're not a f Neanderthal, whatever the fuck it. How you say it, bro? Stop. This is their damage control. This net getting too weird, brother. It's just now. I can't wait to meet academics, lol. They know I dropped tomorrow. This the cook. damage Man, control not is not getting too cook. weird. And Meek I don't really cook. understand why he's blaming academics in this situation when all he's doing is reading this official court filing. Like, it's not like he's just making this up. Like, Meek, at the end of the day, just deny the allegation if it's not true. Academics and alcoholic fully powered by white man. Who you think posting that on every website? They'd be so mad they can't stop. It's a few groups. LOL. What? He then says he wants to get academics address. He's an alcoholic with no life talking to kids on a computer. Normal kids watch Kai, Aiden, Wallow, Gilly. You a sick old black man with no life achievements trying to destroy black men what? because you Bruh. envy us as men. Bruh. Meek, I promise you Bruh. no sane individual is sitting watching Bruh. any stream. Bruh, bruh, just like the point he about to make. I get what Meek's saying though. You know what I'm saying? Like like clips, you, little YouTube videos, maybe a little bit of the stream. Woo -de -woo. But brother, a shot dog going to holler, bruh. And Meek is hollering right now. For hours on end. He's and he screaming just actually. With the Twitter finger saying, I'm from Philly. I don't do coke a freaky ass molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about gay activity and the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog like they know I'm coming. LOL. And Meek, this is really what? all you had to say from the start. And then I guess he kind of comes to his senses here in real time. He says, and somebody send me that actual lawsuit. So he hasn't even looked at the doc. Someone send me the actual lawsuit. These blogs making y'all stupid for the day. Brother has not seen this. So he's just going based These off of the clip of academics. For the day. Why is it the blog's fault? Like me, call your lawyer. He will send you the lawsuit. Don't follow the heathens. They controlling people's minds with these computers. And I guess now he's coming from the angle that this lawsuit isn't even real. Oh my god, Let's he's talking that park talk, bro. Sure he's talking it's... that talk right now, bro. He's talking, he's talking crazy, crazy yapper gibberish right now, bro. He's talking crazy right now, bro. He's not even on topic anymore. Now he's talking about aliens controlling our minds through computer. Bro, just say you get your butt touched. Stop with the mumbo jumbo, dog. It's mo computer generated. It's obvious I'm going indecent. Y'all gonna see a lot of bad press about me. I'm going against the system. They see it's wide open. We have a whole new system. And people just continue to troll him, saying, we know what else is wide open. And then I guess he really <laughs> comes to his senses. He's like, oh, that document was an AI generated. And he says, here's the doc. Let's go on trial, live playing with my name. Find the page where my name mentions and the date so I can Bro, get Bro, see, my he can't even type. He can't even say trial. He says trail. Bro, this meek is just, bro. I don't know, me troll, bro. This can't be no troll, bro. There's no way, bro. Trail, bro. Trial, my nigga, bro. How old is this nigga, bro? Bro, like, bro, 36. That means he was like around the time when internet was starting to pop off. So how the f you still don't know how to f spell, bro? Trial, bro. Bro, put trail. Meek has no social skills. I swear to, God, bro. <sighs>
credit card and show you the date where I was. I don't even know that pussy, but let's go to trial on here. Like I'm sure at this point, this man was giving his publicist a serious headache. Philly looking I mean, down bad, bro. Philly down bad. Tweet, Philly down is a hundred right now, bro. Like, oh my lord. Alleged lies. But still, he just continued to tweet and tweet and tweet and tweet. And tweet. So, 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 the, so once, once he's seen the document starting to come out, the boy is just screaming and hollering on Twitter. Just, just screaming, bro. Wilding out, bro. Jesus Christ, Meek. Please, <laughs> just stop. This Man. has to be a favorite of mine. When I got a girl around me, I'm f***ing her twice a day. LOL. Ask some of your favorites. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before he reads this. When I got a girl around me, I'm fucking her twice a day. LOL. Ask me some of your favorites. Pussy don't control me, but it's like a high. One love to the gay people, but that juicy pussy do it for me. I don't read red lights to get that feeling. Y'all weird on here like devils. All right. I'm sorry if I read that slow. Atlanta education failed me, bro. This is how you know a nigga lying. Firstly, once act out of the news, and once they seen that, 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 that redacted shit, and they go to number five, and they see it says a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj and everyone knew was Meek. And once he found out, he just started losing his shit. Now he just tweeting like crazy shit. Now he just talking about how much he get. Now this is how you know a nigga is no ass, bro. You know a nigga is no ass when he starts talking about how much ass he gets. If a dude keeps, keeps mentioning about how many he got, how many he got on his roster, how many girls he's fucking in a week. If he just constantly talking about girls and sex and all that. He gets none. Zero. It's either he is a horny demon and he needs self-control or he gets zero punani. Zero intercourse. Zero action in the sheets. Juicy p do it for me with the smiling emoji. Meek, you telling me you got on Twitter. You hopped on Twitter, Meek. You typed up that juicy p do it for me with hella ease on it and put the smiley emoji on it. Meek, seek help. Seek help, bro. You, lo you lost, bro. You lost. You're losing your mind now, bro. You don't control me, but it's like a high. One love to the gay people, but that juicy do it for me. I done ran red lights to get that feeling. Y'all weird on here like devils. I'm telling you, all this guy had to say was nah. That shit ain't true. Literally, no bro. No to the gays, but that just ain't me. And he has this rounds. And that would have some Rounds of tweets. Maybe like one more tweet about, oh, I'll see you in court, pussy, because this is a bunch of lies. But that's all it really had to be, Meek. I mean, this guy was up all night tweeting oh about this Lord. shit. And here's some of DJ Academics' responses in this situation, because you know when Academics gets in some beef, he's going to take the moment and run with it. He's going to go viral. He says, oh, wait, did you blame me for what? A lawsuit said like I just made it up? LOL, no way. LOL, honestly, I don't even think Meek is gay, but it's weird as f got on Elon Musk Twitter to blame me for what a lawsuit said and promote a song, LOL. <laughs> the day a ninja used a gay Yo. rumor and beefing with a blogger to promote a song is when I realized this game is too crazy for me. I'ma pray for Meek. He gotta be back on them perks. And then I- Bruh. When allegations come out like that and you just suddenly wanna all of a sudden drop a song in the middle, in the midst of it, not even relating to it. Not even like a, like, like a track outing the whole thing. Not, none of that. You just- Promoting an album that might flop again or just slowly decline, just like how he's how Meek's been doing for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Academic just goes on. Once Meek, once Meek started doing this, when he did that on the snippet, he did this. That's how you know it was GG. That's how you know he was cooked. Continue bro. tweeting as well. Also, more suspect Diddy videos dropped, like here where he spanks Jay Z. No. Hey, hold on. Wait, 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 wait videos dropped like here where he spanks Jay-Z and you know normally people wouldn't really think twice yo let Diddy do some shit like that on me I'm gonna I'm slap that bro back up with that bro don't do that shit bro bro Diddy bro this kid Diddy's a weird bro he's a weird guy bro it's about something like that but when you have had all these accusations for years and people have talked about your infamous parties 
all this stuff starts to look extremely suspect. Here, Game says all he used to do was party with Diddy that they never made music together. Wasn't Puffy interested in, in working with you also? Yeah, Puff, I was running around with Puff uh, for a minute, but we was just uh, we was just partying, man. Puff liked to party. I don't know. Um, I, don't know the the I don't know about the game. I don't know about the game. I don't know about I don't know about the game. But now I gotta question some of these gangsters now, bro. I gotta start questioning them, bro. Cause Meek out here getting his butt touched. Now I gotta start questioning dudes, bro. Is the game really gangster like that? No disrespect to the game, though. I'm just saying, though. Party, we might have went to the studio. Let me chill if I get shot. Let me chill. I didn't get to record nothing. I was just, you know. I guess when that ship starts coming down, all these other people start sinking with you, whether there be merit to these rumors or not. I have relationships with women and s with men. And I got new. <laughs> That means you're gay. Do you think there's a lot of undercover brothers in the industry? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no, Queen. We don't know nothing about undercovers. Oh no. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, I do. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. Stick in the door, wave in the four four. Hey, 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 yeah. They're saying even Kevin Hart knew back in the day. No homo, no, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he did. I'm just gonna... If we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way. Just so we're... This was back before Kevin Hart went industry. This is my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean... We used to wake up, red flag number one. Back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frost. Ten? Hold on, wait. Shit ain't lining up. Shit is not lining up. Didn't he meet Usher? Wait. Didn't, didn't Puff meet Usher when he was younger? Like when he started? Hold on. Wait. Something's not adding up. And... I mean, damn. Industry. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause. We used to fight over the frosted flakes. Y'all not dumb. I'm not dumb. The world, the world ain't dumb. Probably a few exceptions here and there, but the world ain't dumb. Off of this information, what I'm getting, right? I'm just, this is assumptions, okay? This isn't concrete. This isn't facts. Puff had young un Usher off the sniffles? Off the nose candy? And they was, in quotations, wrestling? Oh, no. Nah. This is bad. This is real bad, bro. Usher went down on my R&B list a little bit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He kind of went down after after, I'm, after reading this, bro. He slick under right now. I'm not gonna lie. Force was invented. <laughs> But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the off of the frosted flakes. Off of the frosted flakes. Okay, so yes, it was definitely off of the nose candy, and they was they was tussling. This is disgusting, bro. This is disgusting knowledge I'm hearing. Always get up. What the fuck did Puff just? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted flakes, and we're streaming live. That was stupid. That was. <laughs> nah, wrestling this nigga knew, bro. Flakes. At this point, Nasty. can't even separate the but art from the artist, bro. So bro, you know what, bro? I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big preacher of separate the art from the artist, bro. When Kanye had that little spew of like him and Trump or whatever, and everyone was going against him, I was like, and I was still bumping Kanye at the time. Everyone would get on me about it. I'd be like, hey, separate the art from the artist. It is what it is. This, on the other hand. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and I fuck with homosexuals, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Frank Ocean, I fuck with Isaiah Rashad, you know what I'm saying? They cool, but there's levels to it. This is unacceptable. This is, uh, this is, this is, bro, oh my god, this is so insane, bro. What's going on, man? Like, just to think about it out loud, bro. Like, this is all coming out in real time, bro. Lawsuit goes. Obviously, all of these allegations should be taken with a grain of salt. But at least when it comes to Diddy, it just seems like a situation where there's been smoke there for so long, so there's a high possibility that there has to be some fire. 
Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this down below. W video, bro. As always. W video, bro. What's his name? Jamari? I'm going to subscribe to him, bro. I like him, bro. And I'm going to like the video, too, bro.